For a professional PC user who likes the game in their downtime, Starforge Systems is here to provide a product just for those. As an avid video editor and creator myself, nowadays I'm disinterested in the extra time it takes to install a proper RGB setup, and all the additional features and gadgets seem more unnecessary than fruitful. The Explorer Pro high performance parts, including the new Intel Core Ultra 7 265K, 20 core, 8P cores, and 12E cores, 32 gigabytes of DDR5 memory, and a 4070 Ti Super with 16 gigabytes of VRAM, although the internal parts aren't what I would have personally chosen, at 2584 MSRP, and after a worthy amount of testing across gaming, pro video editing, and more, I can say that this PC can live up to its demographic needs. If I could Fortunately, even for those purchasing this pre-build with the intention of personal customization, Starforge Systems provides a unique accessory bag full of extra PSU power cables, SATA, RGB, a 12 volt GPU adapter, Wi-Fi antenna, and best of all, mounting hardware for AMD CPUs. I didn't expect to really receive any extra parts like this, so thanks Starforge for supporting all of their consumers. The box also provides extra screws and spare parts for the Fractal North case. The Fractal North case has excellent build quality, a metal frame and great design, and thick plexiglass windows. Although the front case of the case looks elegant for those with darker room color schemes, with its vertical wood-like columns, the presence of the wood finish is very plasticky, taking away from its intended look. Yeah, it still looks decent from afar, but realistically, you can see that typical cheap, shiny plastic look in the front. The brown, quote-unquote, wood is also a little color washed for my liking. I'd expect a bit more polish to the front aesthetic for a professionally driven design, but besides that, the Fractal North does does provide hand screw access to the inside window and a pull tab to access the top. I've seen a cleaner inside to pre-builds, but for the size of the graphics card and CPU AIO pumps and the compact size of the Fractal North case, the Explorer Pro has professional presence inside. As I said, this PC is null of RGB, a hot take in the current PC market. If you can set aside that downside, you are left with a more affordable PC with a sleek, blacked out appeal. You still get the LED light pop from the 4070 Ti Super, which does fit right into the minimal appearance of the Explorer Pro. Everything fits perfectly in the Explorer Pro. Maybe too perfectly because the PC is difficult to access if you want to customize the front fans or the PSU. There is a big PSU cover and the internal screws hold the front panel of the Explorer Pro on. I prefer an easier way to remove the front panel or these bittersweet PSU covers as sometimes I'm skeptical of the 750 watt power supply installed for professional future upgrades. To continue the Pro aesthetic of the Explorer Pro, the front panel buttons and jacks appear golden, which is away from the norm and is warmly accepted. The golden reflective look fits right in as an eye-catching accent to the black metallic frame. Nicely, there is a high-speed USB-C port, two USB 3.0 ports, a mic jack, and a headphone jack all on the front. Although I would have liked four USB ports on the front, the stylish golden LED strip makes up for it, I guess. Damn you, RGB. You win again. In terms of expanding, the MSI Z890 Tomahawk was a great choice, leaving the prominent two RAM slots unused for a total of four. We also have four M.2 slots in total for a fantastic amount of added data potential. The only issue is you'll have to remove this massive 4070 Ti Super to access the M.2s, which Starforge nicely provides a GPU support in the packaging for the weight of the 4070. Additionally, there is an extra screw already nested on the top side of the GPU for additional grip, so keep that in mind before removing it. Okay, okay, it's enough about hardware. This is what you all wanted to hear, right? How are the frames? How does it run in 4K? Can I play RuneScape on max settings? Well, I've done extensive testing and I'm here to share some benchmark scores and capabilities of the Explorer Pro. First off, yes, it does run League of Legends and smaller games at max frames 4K Ultra, so on to more compelling comparisons. I primarily tested Forza Motorsport, Halo Infinite, and Call of Duty, all hefty sized games hungry for VRAM. All tests were conducted using HDMI 2.1 at 4K 144p. And here are my results for Forza Motorsport. I had two runs here. The first run I have an average frames of 93 and a minimum dip to 60 and a maximum at 110. And on run two was pretty much the same, 90 average frames and then a dip to actually 70 only and then less maximum frames at 101. So in general, my time with Forza, I ran the game at 4K Ultra and ray tracing maxed out. And NVIDIA AI DLSS frames was turned on. And I was pleasantly surprised by how stable the high performance was. Granted, a lot of this weight was being done by the 4070, but I was still shocked that the new Intel Core can handle the adjacent 
processing in a game this size. This was the only game I tested DLSS on, but this PC is a beast for gaming. On to Call of Duty, I did another two runs. On the first run, the average frames was 80 frames per second, minimum dipped to 64 and maximum at 117. And on the second run, we had a average frame of 90 frames with a dip to 68 and a max of 141, so much better that time. In general, Call of Duty ran fantastic. I really had no complaints when playing. It ran with no frame drops, very smooth. I was playing in HDR and the HDR looked fantastic. And keep in mind, these games are completely maxed out 4K Ultra every time. On to Halo Infinite, I actually did seven runs of Halo, and in general, the average frames was very high at 113. We did have a minimum at 57, but you know, that's across seven games, but a general max of 145. In summary, the Intel Core Ultra 7 paired with the 4070 Ti Super inside the Explorer Pro performed better than I expected. The near perfect execution of 4K on all three games played without lag, prominent or noticeable frame drop, and maintained average frames above 6 for the most part, while on ultra everything, ray tracing on, 4K, ultra, maxed out, everything. You can't really complain about those numbers at all, and those who are not going to be on 4K, just expect just completely stable gameplay. Must I say, Fortnite remains unbootable on the PC as much as I try, it's terribly optimized game for PC, but if you want to play Fortnite on this CPU, expect a nightmare worth of troubleshooting. Side note, a lot of my friends have this issue, and this is not just this PC that has this problem. On my personal PC, I have the Intel Core i9-24 Core which is the absolute problem processor. It's the absolute worst at stability. Adobe programs crash all the time and games also crash if I don't bog the RAM speed in the BIOS. Going to the Explorer Pro makes the previous i9 look like a major joke. The Explorer Pro is an absolute ninja at processing speeds everywhere you go from Adobe Premiere, After Effects, and everyday use. Also, the PC is very stable at handling normal day-to-day -day video editing bottlenecking on the timeline. It slows down normally with dense projects here and there, but there is no crash Crashing. Render speeds also remained fast, but nothing is out of the ordinary. I wasn't really fascinated by processing per second on the render speeds, but the stability is what really caught my eye. I'd like to add that Premiere Pro takes advantage of this built-in iGPU in the Core Ultra 7, and it seems way smoother with timeline navigation and task response. Being that I'm coming from the non-iGPU Intel chip, Lastly, I did want to dive into Cinebench, and these scores are actually on their website. The multi-core I ran was 35,418, the single core was 2205, which is very close to what they put on their website, so as expected. But I did receive an average clock speed of 4800 on multi-core with a temperature of 62 average and a average power draw of 177 watts. And on the single core, we did see a average core speed on the single core at 294, which is pretty good, and 57 degrees Celsius for the entire chip and a power draw of 103 watts. And pretty much what I like to see during these tests was, other than the stability of the computer, was the fact that we were getting boost clock speeds from the Core Ultra 7. And I could also attest that the CPU did perform very nicely when gaming. So I'd like to quickly mention that the Explorer Pro comes preloaded with absolutely no bloatware, gaming applications, or pesky branded software packages to slow your PC down. It truly is a professional experience similar to building it yourself. The Explorer Pro does come with the typical free trials of game pass and office and more but I skip over that for the review purposes. In full circle, the Explore Pro pre-build by Starforge Systems was an absolute delight through and through. Surprisingly, I tend to appreciate a cleaner and simpler non-RGB build these days, so I was left a bit dissatisfied with the exterior of the case, particularly the front. It does look nice in some ways, especially for offices or darker tone room designs, but I can't help but see the plastic when I should be seeing wood. The fractal north case is otherwise well made on all other sides, providing enough space for ATX parts and large GPUs, clearly. Other than aesthetic disappointments for me, me, if you are too busy with clients, have an office space to fill with workstations, or if you are just done building PCs yourself, even more so finish dealing with RGB, the Explorer Pro is a great choice. It is simple, safe, and full of speed. There may have been a few instances when video editing where I could have wished for more cores in the CPU, but the overall experience of the Explorer Pro was smooth and didn't crash once, other than Fortnite. Noisy Pixel is giving the Explorer Pro pre-build an A-. It's a brainless choice for the professional professional user who likes to play games. Thank you for watching. Noisy Pixel is a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all of our future content, and check out our Patreon if you like to support Noisy Pixel. See ya, nerds.